into position. Time to go to the rink. We're on the teams are on the ice. Bernie Pascal and Tom Watt. Thank you, Lloyd. Hello, everybody. Canada and Finland. And Canada starts off with Dave Tippett at center, Kirk Muller, and Dave Donnelly. And the forward line for Sweden, Lina Macatello and Malametsa. Now a change. There's Patrick out there for Canada. Leithanen gets it ahead now for Finland. Trying to get that pass on that far side. That just failed, and Canada gets possession again. Patrick feeds it in over the line. Here's a chance now for Muller heading for the net. It's slapped down by James Patrick into the corner and he gets it back again. Here's Patrick with Tippett heading for the front of the net. Patrick rolls it in front, gets that. Back to Bartel, a shot. And that was stopped by goaltender Kerry Taco. Cleared into the finish zone. Trying to bring it out now. Lattinen gets it straight up the middle. Here's a pass on the right side. Line out drive and Goslin makes the save. And a bit of a mix-up at the side there with Robin Bartel of Team Canada. We're at it right away, and I think the Finnish player is going to get a cross-checking penalty in that little skirmish at the end. The captain of the team going over here now. The Soviet official, Karandine, indicated a cross-check. I don't know whether they're both going, but certainly Malametsa is going into the penalty box, along with Tippett. So Malametsa and Tippett get coincidental minor penalties from the Soviet referee, Yuri Karandin. The two linesmen are Tadacek of Czechoslovakia and Schneider of West Germany. We're in the first minute of play here at Skandaria, one of two venues for the Olympic hockey competition. The other is Zetra. A capacity crowd on hand for this game. Flatley clears the puck out. Here's a chance for Wilson. It got off his stick. A drive by Litster is stopped by goaltender Kerry Taco. After it for Canada is Pat Flatley. He gets it to Kerry Wilson. Wilson back to Litster. Let's it go, and that's blocked by the defense. And coming out to center ice now is Siren. He was stopped. Driver in his own zone to Doug Litster. Litster a pass to Wilson. Here's Wilson trying to get it in front. That just failed, and it goes into the corner to Ahima. Now he gets it. Gavaninen coming up on the right side. Gavaninen gets a pass on the left side. That's broken up by Litster. Trailing is Utila. And that's stopped by Mario Goslin. Now Canada on the attack again. Up over the line. A shot. And that just hit the side of the net as Russ Cortnell moved in. Gavaninen jumps the puck out to the center ice zone. Canada brings it right back in. Patrick, very spirited opening here. As Patrick brings it over the line, he's taken out of the play there by Sumanen. And the puck is shot down the ice with Craig Redmond going back for it. And it'll be icing against Finland. Well, the way Kerry Wilson was skating early in the hockey game, it doesn't look as if that slight uh, uh, injury that he had. He was uh, nursing a little bit of a Charlie horse, didn't play the third period. There we see Tippett in the box. Wilson didn't uh, play the third period in the game against Austria, but the way he's been skating in the first shift, it doesn't look like it's going to affect him a bit. So all the penalized players, Malametzer for slashing and Tippett for roughing, and they each have 40 seconds remaining in their penalties. Face off in the Team Finland zone. Here's Cortnall a shot, and that's blocked by the defense as Yellow stepped in front of that one. Canada can't keep it in. Redmond is back at center ice. He loses the puck. Here's a chance for Suman in. His backhander sails through the crease. Moving up is Leto. He keeps it in for Finland. Leto behind the net now. Yalo took the check. Now Suman in trying to dig the puck loose. Suman in. Rotman gets a shot. And that's off the target. Cortnell goes after it for Canada. He slaps it ahead. Gagne trying to catch up to the puck. And just over skated it. Then bumps with Marcus Leto. Two teams are now back at full strength. There's no score. Zumanen clears the puck over the line. Litster is there to intercept. Zumanen trying to get it. Here's Leto, a shot. And that's blocked and cleared into the corner. For Canada now, Dave Donnelly. That pass just failed and comes to the center ice zone. Litster inside his own line for Team Canada. Litster up to center, slaps it into the finish zone. 
Parity Latinen for Finland. It's kept in by Driver, a shot, he scores! Driver! Driver let the puck go and Kirk Muller just tipped it right out of the air, changed direction of the puck on the way to the net, but Muller certainly hit that puck right in the air, changed direction, seemed to handcuff the finished goalie, but Driver let it go all in one motion and Kirk Muller took it right out of the air. It wasn't one of those deflections off the ice. Puck comes right around to the point. Driver gets everything in it. There's Kirk Muller going to the net. Look at the stick right in the air, changes direction, puts the puck down underneath the pads of the Finnish goaltender. Another look with the goaltender, just trying to stand up. The direction has changed, hits the post behind him. And again, Team Canada goes ahead in the hockey game. Very important in any one of the three games that we've played now. Team Canada has never been behind in the hockey game. And it's a lot easier to play when you're ahead those goals. Good effort by Bruce Driver and the deflection by Kirk Muller. And Canada leading one to nothing here early in the first period. Robin Bartow leaves it behind the net now for Craig Redmond. Muller from Driver at 326. That scoring play. Now Finland back on the attack. Lima trying to get it into the corner. He stopped. Now Pat Flatley brings it out for Canada. Straight up the middle, flatly trying to get it to Wilson and does. Wilson coming right in front. And that's blocked by goaltender Kerry Taco. After the puck is Pat Flatley. Here's Wilson. He dumps it in front. Loose puck for Canada. Comes back to Bartel. Hit shot, hit escape. Over to the other side now. Craig Redmond gets a drive. Wilson at the side. Here's Flatley a shot. And that just failed to hit the target. And Canada putting on the pressure. Finland trying to relieve it here as they ice the puck. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. And just as we resume play, Suminen moved in and had a great scoring opportunity on Mario Goslan, who made the save. But Suminen right in on top of the Team Canada goaltender and an outstanding save. Well, I'll tell you, I don't know where Jan uh, Tadacek, the Czechoslovakian linesman, went in that play because the man was about two strides offside, but they waved it off. Face off in the Team Canada zone. Kirk Muller has scored the only goal, his third point of the Olympic Games. We've played four minutes and 48 seconds here in the opening period. A puck comes to Gagne. Gagne now coming up for Canada with Portnell and Dan Wood. The puck rolls right to goaltender Kerry Taco. And an interesting point, Taco, the goaltender for Finland, was drafted by Quebec Nordique. And at the opposite end, Mario Goslan has also been drafted by Quebec Nordique. So I would think the Quebec <laughs> Nordique Hockey Club of the NHL will be watching this game with a great deal of interest. Kirk Muller getting set now for the faceoff. Trying to get it back to Bartel, and it's taken by Saarinen, number five. Saarinen of Finland in behind his own net. Two teams at full strength. Comes off the boards, Malametsa with Lina. Lina takes it into the corner. He's hauled out of the play, and picking up the loose puck is James Patrick. Patrick gets it out to center to Donnelly. Donnelly trying to get that pass ahead to Muller. It just failed. Now back comes Curdy Lettinen. Lettinen was stopped and couldn't get around defenseman Robin Bartel. Lina tries to keep it in. Here's a loose puck. Lina, it's stopped by Goslan. Another great save as he reached out of the air and knocked that puck down from Lina. Well, Goslin uh, making a very good glove save, but you know, you can't put that puck across the middle inside your own zone, and Donnelly taking the pass off the boards, try to put it through the center, and it was stolen just inside the blue line by the Finnish uh, defensive moving in and gave, was able to get that shot away, but you can't put a puck through the middle off the boards. You gotta get it up the boards and out. Team Canada undefeated with a 4-2 victory over the United States, 8-1 over Austria, and they lead this game by a score of 1-0. The Soviets won their game earlier today, defeating Yugoslavia. They lead in their division. Now the puck is cleared in by Timo Utila. Into the corner after it for Canada's Doug Lidster, the former Kamloops junior. A pass ahead now. Up over the line goes Dan Wood heading for the net. He was stopped and comes back to Driver. He lets it go. The deflection right in front. 
just went wide off the stick of Deneen. Now he rolls it in front, and Driver has it at center ice for Canada. Driver coming in with Deneen. Here's Deneen trying to get a shot. He's pulled over by Timo Udala. And Finland has possession right, right again. Yavadainen. He stepped into Deneen, knocked him down. There's a shot. And that just sailed wide of the Team Canada and a deflection in front. And Driver is there quickly to recover for Canada. Driver up to his own blue line. Sidestep Yavadainen. Gets it up over the finish line. Going after the puck now. Flatly trying to get it to low. And that's intercepted. Now Wilson has it. Wilson for Canada. He's checked by Marcus Leto. Over the line. A chance for low. A drive. And a good toe save by goaltender Kerry Taco. Flatly caught inside the finished blue line. A delayed offside. Well, the official's calling it deliberate, and he's bringing it all the way down to the Team Canada end. But, you know, there wasn't even a whisper out of the crowd. Tackle just made a, an outstanding toe save on the shot from low. That puck was going right to the corner of the net. Great save by Tackle, really, and nobody even breathed a murmur. How out there, yellow for Finland, number 13. Patrick trying to get possession for Canada, and it slides out to center ice. Marcus Lato has it for Finland. Wilson picks it up well for Canada. Here's Wilson to low. Low trying to get it over the line. Flatly delayed there, and the puck is slapped down the ice. Screco into the corner with Craig Redmond. They collide. The puck is tied up along the boards, and it's right out of the stick of Terry Wilson to Flatly. Out to center ice. Rottenen trying to get it. A pass on the right side to Ramo Sumanen. Sumanen into the corner. He was stopped, and Craig Redmond has it for Canada. Redmond slaps it around the boards. Low at center to flex it ahead and flatly touched it. Offside play. 7.38 gone here in the opening period. Canada leading one to nothing on a goal by Kirk Muller. You can hear the conversation at the Team Canada bench. Dave King, the head coach and general manager, on the bench there was Jean Perrault and the other assistant coach for Canada, George Kingston. Face off in the Team Canada zone. A capacity crowd on hand at Skandaria for this game. Very important contest for Finland and for Canada. Czechoslovakia leading the vision with three straight victories. Now Russ Kortnell slaps it into the corner. Comes up to the blue line. Kortnell going after it. A good burst of speed, but he's stopped by Perdi Lantanen. After the puck for uh, Finland is Risto Yellow. He has stopped. Here's a drive right on as Dave Gagne let that go. Saarinen trying to get it. He lost it. There's a shot as Lidster moved in and got a point blank drive at Kerry Taco. Well, Wood making a good job too. Took the puck around the net. Didn't give the puck away. Looked up. Saw Lidster moving in. Put it right on his stick and he shot all in one motion. Another good stop by Taco. And Team Canada certainly is has gone right to the attack here and is putting all kinds of pressure on the Finnish team early in the hockey game. Now Muller's out there for Canada. He has scored the only goal of the game. Canada has outshot Finland 9-4 at this point in the first period. Here's a race for the puck. Tuima trying to get to it. And Canada's Kirk Muller. And there's a collision, a break now for Canada. Up over the line, here's Tippett rolling it in front. A shot and it bounces just to the side of the net. And Finland comes right back, but they overskated. Yavaninen left it behind. Utila tries to bring it out now. Here's Utila at center ice, clearing it in right on, and that's stopped by Mario Goslin. Rotanen had it momentarily. Now Canada gets possession once again inside their own blue line. That's driver number 25. Driver, a pass ahead to Carpen. He can't handle it. And it's broken up by Tuima. All to the ice is Dan Wood. Referee says no infraction. Now Craig Redman will try to get it out for Canada. Gets a pass up to the opposing blue line. Then Yalo was there to intercept. Yalo brings it back now for Finland. Makes a shot in with Skriko a drive. And that's blocked. And Canada comes right back again with Patrick. Getting it up to center ice. 
Up over the line now. Here's a chance for Deneen. He's knocked to the ice. Foot right in front. He collides with goaltender Kerry Taco. Well, that was a, a great collision. They're throwing around bodies, but I see Deneen going to the bench with his right shoulder down, and he's had problems with his shoulder. There I see the trainer uh, waving the, the uh, doctor over, but here's the hit right here. Deneen coming across. The offside defenseman is able to come across and just get everything into it, and Deneen was really his, hit a hard check inside the uh, finished blue line, and he's gone to the bench, and the doctor is looking at him. Of course, Kevin Deneen from a hockey family. His dad, Bill, coaches Adirondack of the American Hockey League. And he has three brothers also playing hockey. Canada leading this game one to nothing on a goal by Kirk Muller. James Patrick inside his own line to low. Now Canada coming on the attack. Here's Kerry Wilson. Wilson trying to get by defenseman Perdy Lennon. He's taken into the boards. Flatly trying to dig the puck loose there. He collides, knocked the puck, and then it's Saarinen bringing it up. Saarinen gets it ahead, up over the line now. Finland on the attack, and the shot by Lina missed the target. Low for Canada. Tried to get Wilson with that pass. Leighton has it at center. Long shot right on, but it's a offside play. We've played 10-29 here in the opening period at Skandaria. The only goal of the game scored by Kirk Muller from driver. Number seven, Timo Utila. He was drafted by Buffalo. And there's Doug Lidster, drafted by the Vancouver Canucks in the seventh round. Native of Thetford Mines, Quebec. Goaltender Mario Goslin. As we get set now, Leto, number nine. Moving into the face-off circle. He played junior hockey one year in Melville, Saskatchewan. Number nine on the left wing side there. As they move in for the face-off. And slapped in behind the net to Utila. Utila, Finland. Gets it up now on that right side. Juema. Kanye is after him. Puck bounces at the center ice zone. Here's a chance now for Russ Kortnall. Kortnall clears the pass over, getting set. Gagne can't get a shot. Gets it back now to Redmond. Let's it go, and that hit a skate and just goes wide. Hortnell keeping it in momentarily there for Canada. Yavaninen tried to bring it out, then it slapped right into the Team Finland bench. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue. Back to the action now. Here's Donnelly right in, and that's stopped by goaltender Kerry Taco. Welcome to our CTV coverage of the Olympic Games. Bernie Pascal and Tom Watt with Canada leading 1-0. Here's a chance. And moving in there was Suminen, and he was stopped. As Canada races right back. Up over the line, Donnelly going after the loose puck, and it's out of reach for Skriko. Lidster, he clears it into the Team Finland zone. Terry Taco left it there for Ruotan at number six. He lost it. Here's Wilson dumping it in front. And that was intercepted by Finland and then slapped out to the center ice area. Wilson going after the puck. Losing his stick is Marcus Leto. And it's icing against Team Canada. We've played 12-0-3 in the first period. Well, actually, that brought up an interesting point just on that icing because, you know, the Finnish player had broken his stick. He couldn't. He touched the stick with or the puck with a skate. And the rule says on a delayed icing call, it must be touched with your stick. But the linesman blew it down because it was touched with a skate. Otherwise, the Team Canada man would have been there first, and there's no icing call. So we're set now for the face-off. Finland, Marcatello, wearing number 17. There's a shot, just goes wide. Lennon and lets it go, and Goslin stopped that. Comes around the boards to Darren Lowe. Lowe clears it to center, goes down into the ice. In the Team Finland zone, Lettinen has it. Lettinen gets a pass to Macatello up on the far side. Now, Lina to the Team Canada line. Missed a check from Pat Flatley. Over the line now. Lina trying to get a shot, and Canada breaks right back. Here's Lowe. Right in on goal, a shot. And that's stopped by Kerry Taco. As Lowe was tied up trying to get that drive away, and Flatley was just nailed in the corner by Saarinen. There's a chance for Canada again. Wilson drops the puck behind the net to Flatley. Flatley right in front. 
gets the return fight. Here's Flatley moving into the slot. A shot and tackle. Stop that. Flatley goes after it for Canada. Flatley in front and Wood just failed to reach that as he was knocked down. Martel. Great pressure by Team Canada. Another shot and tackle stops that and this time holds on. Well, Team Canada with any kind of luck and maybe a little better shooting around that net. Their shots are all a little high. But moving around that net, throwing it around, controlling the puck inside the finish zone, and they've had some great opportunities here in the first period. And we have six minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the opening period. Driver took the shot from the point on the Canadian goal, deflected by Kirk Muller. And that's the scoring play. Injured Finland player Yavanainen is heading off to the dressing room, probably with a hip pointer the way he's walking there. Well, they haven't been sparing the body or they haven't been sparing the speed. It's been a hard-hitting contest by both teams. There have been some great checks thrown both ways. Gagne out there now for Canada. Number 31 is Von Carpen. He went in deep to four check. Buck slapped over. Lima gets it into the Team Canada zone. Backboard is James Patrick. He slides heavily into the boards as he was bumped. Craig Redmond trying to get it out. He collides. After the puck, Serbio for Finland. He lost it. It comes to Gagne. Gagne up with Carpen. Over the Team Finland line, the puck just slides into the corner where it's picked up there by Utila. Utila stopped by Carpen. Moving up is Leighton in and he clears it into the Team Canada zone. This should be icing, and yes, it is. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue. Welcome back to Skandaria, the Olympic Hall in Yugoslavia with Canada leading Finland by a score of one to nothing. Sumanen brings the puck in. Sumanen trying to get it back to the point and does to Leto. He's hauled down. Rico is all tied up, and Canada brings it out. Robin Bartel. Here's Bartel moving right in on goal. Still has possession, slaps it around the board. After it there, Marcus Leto. Leto, he's checked. As Donnelly gets a piece of ham, and there will be holding against Donnelly of Canada. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. So Canada, a man short, Donnelly off for holding at 14-24. Finland, Saarinen deep in his own zone on defense with Leitonen. Gets the return pass, now he brings it out. Saarinen in over the Team Canada line and a shot and a glove save as he goes off the glove of Mario Gosselin and comes to the blue line but not out. Saarinen deep in the corner. Patrick trying to get a piece of him and comes back, a bouncing puck. Slap right at the crease, and it's kept out by Team Canada's Mario Gosselin. Back now to Leighton and inside his own blue line for Finland. 1.21 left in the Team Canada penalty to Dave Donnelly. Slapped off the boards there by Malametsa, and therefore Canada is Litster and shoots it down the ice. Marcus Leto, number three in his own zone. Leto brings it out. Still ragging the puck, gets it up to center, a pass to Malametsa, moving right in front, a shot, that's blocked, as Malametsa showed a good burst of speed breaking in there, and we have a cross-checking penalty handed out by referee Yuri Carandon. All right. So Donnelly has 52 seconds remaining in his penalty, and heading off is Risto Yellow. It was a draft of the Washington Capitals. Well, Gosselin, here he is making the big save. Uh, just coming across in front of the net, he gets the pad down, he gets that uh, glove up there, and that uh, was the second big stop in that power play opportunity that Finland had that he made in the shift. And uh, this is what you need in these games for all the onions and so on to get on that medal round. You've got to have that great goaltending. And so far, He's been equal to the task. So 15-32, yellow for cross-checking for Finland. Puck comes ahead now to Pat Flatley. Dropped it deep in his own zone to Craig Redmond. Redmond on the right side. Donnelly has 35 seconds left in his penalty. As Finland now brings it back up over the Team Canada line. Suminen trying to break in there. Moving up to the point. Rotman can't keep it in as it comes down to 
Flatley of Canada. He dropped it behind the net to Craig Redman. Redman handed it right to Strico. And the net is knocked off its moorings and there'll be a penalty. Well, they're going to call Goslam for delaying the game. They're saying that uh, when the puck was stolen behind the net, when he turned around in the net, that he deliberately knocked it off the moorings. Remembering again that those nets aren't on pipes coming out of their ice. They're just on little nubs at the bottom. The puck uh, was deep in the in the Team Canada zone. Flatly, uh, we don't see it, had put it behind the net. Gosselin, there they just misplay it behind the net a little bit. Well, actually, he slipped, just seemed to slip there and turned around, but the referee thought that he had knocked it off deliberately, but the two-minute delay of the game penalty is given to Gosselin. So Canada, two men short as Donnelly still has 19 seconds remaining in his penalty. Penalty to Mario Gosla. Delay of game at 16.05. Canada leading by a score of one to nothing. Patrick trying to get the puck out, got it to the blue line, that's about it. Going after it now. Bacatello is pinned against the boards. Now it's cleared down the ice and it's right on goaltender Kerry Taco. Finland defeated Austria 4-3 earlier and defeated Norway 16-2. There's Macatello over the line, backhands it right onto the stick of Bruce Driver, and he sends it back to the Team Finland zone. Each team a man short. That should have been an icing call. Up over the line now, here's Saarinen. He gets a shot right on, and that's stopped easily by Gosland and feeds it over to Robin Bartel. Out ahead now, here's Kirk Muller. Got over the blue line, then bumped into Perdy Lettinen. They scrambled for it. And the referee, Carandine, says it was held there long enough. That's the whistle. Well, Muller was just trying to get that puck across, and if he ever does get it by uh, Lettinen there against the boards, Donnelly was cruising in all by himself on the near side here and would have been free to go to the net. Muller saw him, too, but he just couldn't get the puck by the defender on the boards. You know, one's got to be impressed with the great spirit among the people of this area in Sarajevo. And we at CTV are proud to be a part of the Olympic Games, a proud moment for Sarajevo and Yugoslavia. They've just been outstanding hosts for the Olympic Games. Here's Donnelly getting set now for Canada, drops it to Lidster, and it's deflected off a stick. Donnelly in the corner. He's bumped there by Timo Utila. The puck right onto the stick now of... Duima trying to get it out for Finland. He was stopped. Three seconds left in the Team Finland penalty. Now they're back at full strength. So Canada is a man short, leading one to nothing. They freeze the puck there in the corner. We mentioned this last game, but in that shift, uh, when the puck was being controlled deep in the, uh, in the end by uh, Donnelly in the finish end, uh, I like the way here we see Lister. He was the man, the defensemen are, are really moving in off the blue line and looking for that offensive opportunity. And in the international game, that's what happens. A lot of the, the teams, the, the defensemen, because there's so much ice, they've got to become involved more offensively in the play. And Team Can has adapted to that very well. Now after the puck is James Patrick. Slides it along the boards to Dave Tippett. Tippett trying to get it ahead to... Number 22, Danny Wood has just got a breach of him. 12 seconds left in the penalty. Canada doing a good job of killing it off here, but here's Finland on another rush. They shoot the puck to the line, and it's offside as breaking in on the right side was Suminen, number 25, the draft of the Edmonton Oilers. There's Gagne, number 19. From Shannon, Ontario, Lee Jr. in the Ontario League with Brantford. Keep it going, gang, keep it going. You can hear the voice of Dave King. Keep it going, gang. one nothing for Canada. Less than two minutes to go in the opening period. Canada now back at full strength as Gagne brings the puck over the line. Looking for someone to pass it to. Flatley goes into the corner, drops it there, and Courtney will just fail to pick it up. Gagne back to Courtnell. Courtnell with Saren and checking him. Courtnell a good move. Here he is right in front. And it just rolled off the stick of Gagne. Courtnell trying to trap it. Loose puck at the side. 
Here's a chance now. Driver moves up for Canada. Driver slapped it against the boards, and he's checked by Lina. Courtney went after the loose puck, and it slid off the boards, and Kerry Tackle was there to hold on. Great number of Canadian supporters on hand here at Scandaria for this game. There you can hear some of the chanting, Go Canada, go! Biggest game of the tournament. Both coaches echo that, Dave King and Elpo Sunan. We've played 18 minutes and 40 seconds. Here in the opening period, the two teams at full strength. All set now for the faceoff. Dropped into the corner, Leto. Behind his own net, he's on defense with Udala, who helps him out, and he lost it to Wilson. Wilson then was upset as he tried to clear the puck ahead to Lowe. Broken up at the line by Lidster. Up now to Wilson. Wilson and Lowe. Wilson shoots it, and it's intercepted now by Marcus Leto. One minute left. Leto moving into the corner. After it for Finland as well. Suminen trying to come up with it. Gary Wilson slaps it. Flatley and Lidster in there digging, and they hold it to get a whistle. A spirited first period. Both teams into the game undefeated. Well, look who's coming out here. Face off inside their own zone. Less than a minute to go in the first period. We're bringing out Tippett and we're bringing out Muller here. And uh, uh, both of these men have done an excellent job inside the face-off circle. And, of course, Tippett, who controlled Pat LaFontaine in the first game, he's moving in to take a very important draw. Many members of the Calgary Olympic Committee on hand here for the Olympic Games. Of course, Calgary will host the 1988 Olympic Games. there here's a chance right in front Skrico went after it the pass was behind him now it's cleared right into the team Canada bench and the face off will come to the left of goaltender Mario Goslin and our first couple of days of snow here in Sarajevo in fact a considerable amount several inches of snow it's the real winter games now Here's Tippett and Yellow getting set for the draw in the Team Canada zone. All right, you see, getting waved out. Look who comes in here. Kirk Muller, two centers on this line. And Suminen takes the draw for Finland. It's cleared to the blue line, but not out. Well, I guess it was a delayed off shot side as it bounced high and then landed inside the blue line. Skrico a little upset. Number nine is James Patrick. First round draft pick of the New York Rangers in 1981. Puck comes to the center ice zone. Here's Risto Yellow back now for Finland. He can't penetrate the defense. And Robin Bartel slapped it but not out. 15 seconds remaining in the period. Here comes Tippett. Up for Canada. Tippett has Donnelly trailing. Dropped it right in front. There's a shot and that's blocked by goaltender Kerry Tacko. Four seconds remaining. Donnelly trying to take the puck loose. It's shot down the ice as the horn goes to end the first period of play. The shots, Canada had 15 and Finland had nine. Team Canada looking very good. Olympic Hall, Skenderia in Sarajevo, Yugoslavia. Canada on a goal by Kirk Muller, his third of the Olympics from Driver and Tippett at 3.26. Penalties in the first period. Canada had three for six minutes. Finland had two minor penalties. Canada out shooting Finland 15 to 9. And an important statistic, Tom, face-offs. Canada won nine and Finland won nine. Well, they've continued to win uh, face-offs, uh, key face-offs, two inside their own zone uh, late in the period. One by Kirk Muller and another by Tippett. Muller's out there now. For Team Canada as the second period is underway. Leitman, he drops it over to Saarinen who got it ahead to the Team Canada line. It goes high in the air. James Patrick got it to tip it. But it was gloved ahead and whistled down by Yuri Karandine. An update on another game being played tonight. Sweden 
is leading West Germany one to nothing. That's midway through the opening period. Sweden defeating or leading West Germany one to nothing in the first period. That game is being played at the Zetra Ice Hall in Sarajevo. Buck slapped ahead now. Here's Malametza going after it into the Team Canada zone. Patrick is back quickly and brings it out. Tippett reaches for the pass and it just rolled off his stick. Perry Layton and in the corner. It's taken by Canada. Here's Lidster moving in. His shot slides to goaltender Kerry Taco, who slapped it into the corner. Now Wilson for Canada. Wilson trying to get around Saarinen. Dropped it into the zone there for Flatley. Flatley was taken out of the play. Finland's Leitman trying to get it out. That shot right on, and Taco made the save. Saarinen this time will try. Backhands it just outside the blue line where Robin Bartel has it for Canada. Bartel gave it to Flatley, and Finland gets possession once again. Saarinen. At center, gets a long shot, and that's blocked easily by Mario Goslan. Ahead to Lowe. Lowe had trouble with it. Hellman in trying to get it. Here's Horton for Canada shot, and that's stopped by Taco. Loose puck at the side. Drop back to Horton. A drive, and that's knocked out. Horton again goes after it. Two scoring opportunities for Russ Horton. Outstanding junior from the Victoria Cougars and robbed by Kerry Taco. Now a chance. Tuimi gets a shot. Another shot. And scores! And Finland has tied it up. Toimina moved in there and he shot the puck. The first shot was right on. Gosland stood up, took him in the pads. The puck came right back to him. Here's the first opportunity on the drop pass. Look at Gosland standing right up, but that rebound comes right by and past the defenseman. He gets time to go back across in front of the net and put the puck into the corner. But the first shot, right on. The rebound goes back and then the defenseman overskates the puck as it comes back and he gets the second opportunity to lift the puck over the goaltender. How often do you see that happen in hockey? Russ Cortnell had two big scoring chances, and Finland brought it right back, and they have the equalizer early in the second period. Unassisted goal, Wima at 144. Sumanen gets the puck ahead. Now he stopped. Driver tried to get it at center, taken off his stick by Marcus Leto. They're stopped, trying to keep it in. Ruotinen. And it's called on the offside play. Well, Carandine has indicated that it was a deliver offside. The puck is going all the way back into the Team Finland zone where the faceoff will be taken. Here we see that long pass. A little bit uh, of an interference or a trip, but uh, the Soviet official Carandine has been letting them play. And he uh, ruled that that was not a trip, not a penalty. And the deliberate offside comes back into the zone. There's a chance Bartel's shot, and that's off the stick of goaltender Taco and goes over the boards and out of play. Another big score today, United States and Norway played to a 3-3 tie. The United States and Norway, a 3-3 tie. Czechoslovakia has won three straight. They lead Pool B, Finland and Canada tied for second with four points each. And they're tied in this game. 1-1. Here's a shot in front. That's blocked by the defense. Trying to get it back was Kirk Muller. And it comes right back into the team. Canada's own Gosland comes away out and slaps it to center ice. Tippett for Canada. Gets it up now. Here's a chance for Donnelly right in. And Taco made the save. And Finland brings it out again. Malametza. He shoots it in. Lina goes after it, slips and falls, and picking up the puck is Patrick for Canada. James Patrick trying to get that pass to tip it and fail. Patrick racing deep in his own zone will start it again. Up now to the center ice zone. Over the line, here's Dave Donnelly taken out of the play. Plato behind his own net, and he's pulled over. Kerry Wilson, he slaps it in front and flatly got a piece of it but was knocked to the ice. And Finland races right back again. Lina up over the line, a pass in front! And that stopped by Goslan as Servio moved right in. Great scoring opportunity for Finland. An excellent scoring opportunity, but you know you're beginning to worry 
about Team Canada, the number of good opportunities they've had at the far end. Here we see two men going on the one defender at the blue line. The puck has slipped through so that the finished player is able to get in all by himself, and Goslin just stayed right with that puck. But two men went to the one, and the puck was able to get through, and Servio just slipped in between to get the opportunity. Servio has three goals so far in the Olympic Games. He was a member of Finland at the World Championships last year. There's another shot off the stick of Servio, sailed over the top of the net. Canada won, and Finland won. We've played three minutes and 45 seconds in the second period. This game live on the full CTV network, and they hold the puck against the boards and get a whistle. You know, you know, you begin to worry when Team Canada has all those good opportunities. They've been all around the finish net the first period. They, they had the majority of the shots. They had the majority of the good opportunities. Only one goal ahead early in the second. They've got the good opportunities, and then back Finland comes to tie the game up. You know, you've just got to get ahead of the game and stay there, and when you get your opportunities, let's make sure of them. Stay ahead. Finland met Canada at the Asbestia tournament over the Christmas period in Moscow, and Finland won that game by one goal. 3.56 gone in period number two. It comes to the blue line. Lato can't keep it in. A race for it. Cortinel has it for Canada. It's shot. Kicked out by Taco. Kept in at the line by Bruce Driver. Cortinel into the corner. Watched by Ruotinen. Cortinel feeds it in front. And it's intercepted by Finland, and they break right out of their zone again. Knocked against the boards, Helmanen. Patrick comes after it. Patrick trying to get it out of his own zone. Kept in by Sumanen. Sumanen trying to get it back to Leto at the blue line. Gagne in there digging for it. And Sumanen with driver hold it to get a whistle. Reminder, tomorrow morning on CTV, Canada's horse Bulaw makes his bid for an Olympic medal in 70-meter ski jumping. Bill Inkall and Pat Morris will report for you on how he does. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning for the ski jumping and more from the Olympics in Sarajevo on CTV. 1-1 tie here, Canada and Finland. Muller has scored the goal for Canada. Here's a chance now, up over the line, Muller shot! What a scoring chance again for Muller. Redmond keeps it in at the line. Tippett moving for the front of the net, and the puck is just knocked away. Lidster trying to keep it in and fail. Gets back quickly, though, and he bumps with the finished player, Malametza, and they all mix it up. Dave Tippett from Musaman, Saskatchewan, the captain of this young Canada team. Two on one, Muller is looking to get the puck across, and when he does get it across to Donnelly, he has to reach on his backhand side and flips it by the net. If it's a little behind him, he can get all the wood in his forehand, but he had to reach and just tip it on his backhand. Muller was looking for him on the two on one. If he gets the stick on it, it's in the net with a good shot. Robin Bartal on defense now. Helmut and in for checking for Finland. Bartal gets it again, ahead to low. Low is bumped at center by Leto, and Finland gets it ahead now. Here's a chance for Helmanen trying to get by the defense, and that stop. Taken by Pat Flatley. Flatley back for Canada, has Low on the right side. Into the corner, bumps with Timo Utila. Puck pinned against the boards. Wilson trying to take it loose there. And they all get in there and mix it up. Utila, number seven for Finland, and Kerry Wilson, number 20 for Team Canada. The linesman Tadacek and Czechoslovakia and Schneider of West Germany have their hands full here. Well, Darren Lowe is still going at it, but Darren Lowe didn't want to see that puck held inside that net. Here's everybody getting in there. Darren Lowe was trying to keep that puck in. He ran in a little late and gave Utila a little bit of a, a late shot, but Utila was trying to uh, kill the puck against the, the boards and get the whistle, and Lowe wanted to get it loose, and he did run in there late, and now, of course, everybody starts shoving. They played five minutes and 38 seconds in the second period. Canada's next two games will be against Norway on the 13th and Czechoslovakia on the 15th. Lowe from the University of Toronto heading to the bench. Gagne, number 19, against Yellow. While they were in position, the linesman chases them out, so Cortnall will take the draw against Sumanen. Sumanen, a draft of the NHL Edmonton Oilers. 
Let's clear it in behind Lynette. Gagne dumped it in front. Right out of the stick now of Skrico. Skrico got it ahead. A pass on the right side to Sumanen. Sumanen bumps there with Craig Redmond and both fall and slide into the board. Danny Wood trying to get it out for Canada. And he's helped out by Patrick. Patrick is clearing pass at the center ice zone is intercepted. Here's Sumanen in a shot. Goslam made the save. Puck in behind the Team Canada net. Now Finland starting to put on a drive. Plato gets it ahead, now to Skrico. Skrico over the line, can't get a shot. Combining with Risto Yellow. And Canada up with it again. It's on and it's cleared by Gagne, but not out. Here's a chance. Skrico had it knocked off his stick. A race for it. Portmo. And Rotten gets back for Finland. Rotten feeds a pass on the right side. The two teams at full strength. Lister collides there with Suman and knocks him down. Tippett up now for Canada. Tippett with Kirk Muller who takes the pass and the shot. Blocked by Perry Lentman. Heavy collision. Tippett right in front. Here's a chance. Muller trying to jam it in. And they all get in and smother the loose puck. How did that not get in? I mean, Muller just made a great play. The puck hit the goaltender, came back to him. He realized that he couldn't put it over him in his backhand, and he takes the time. Watch here when the puck comes out in front. Now, he's on the backhand, can't get it, turns right around, then he puts the puck up. The goaltender sliding across. I think he got his glove on it coming across. But Muller was smart, took his time. He knew early he didn't have any chance to make the play. Tried to get it over him on his forehand. Top two teams advance to the medal round. Top two teams in each pool. Czechoslovakia leads this one with three straight victories. Finland and Canada tied for second in pool B with two victories each. And they're tied in this game. There's a clearing pass in front. And we could have a penalty, a charging infraction against Team Finland. Coverage of the 14th. Winter Olympics will continue. Now here's Canada on the power play. Driver a shot deflected at the side. Leighton and off for charging. Redmond trying to get it back. Here's Patrick setting up. There's a drive and a glove save by Kerry Taco. And as he looks sharp and goal for Finland in this game. Well, I don't know what we have to do to score a goal. There we have uh, Pat Flatley, you know, and he was uh, just moving around on the side, and we've seen that power play from Team Canada. They like to move it across to the middle and then work off either side. You see drive, Driver on this near side, one-point man, moving it to either man on the side, working three on two against their two men at the top of the box. 1.35 left in the power play. Here's Kerry Wilson. Puck rolled off his stick. Back to get it is Flatley. Now they're setting up. Redmond gives it to Driver. He lets it go, deflected. And it goes high over the glass and bounces off the score clock behind goaltender Taco. Time remaining in the penalty to Perdi Leitonen. 27-year-old veteran for the Finnish national team. Appeared in three world championships as we look at Pat Flatley. New York Islanders expect a great future from this youngster. Wilson comes out to take the draw now for Canada. His NHL rights owned by the Calgary Flames. Their general manager and president Cliff Fletcher is one of many NHL people here. Here's Driver now moving the puck over. A shot right in front. Wilson a drive. And tackle stopped that on the short side. 1-10 left in the power play. Knocked down by Driver, almost got away from him. Here comes Sumanen now, back for Finland. Sumanen gets a shot, and that's blocked by Patrick. Wilson goes after the puck. Scooped up by Pat Flatley. Canada and Finland, a 1-1 tie with Canada on the power play. Here's Muller knocking it down. Muller drops it back to Wilson. Wilson gives it to James Patrick. Into the corner to Wilson, a shot. And that's blocked by the defense with 41 seconds left in the penalty to Leitman. If Wilson could slide that puck across in front of the net, Kirk Muller was just waiting all alone off the edge of the net. The net wide open from tackle, but the Finnish defender just sprawled and was able to stop that pass across when it came. 
uh, from Kerry Wilson. Shots in this period. Canada has outshot Finland 7-6. to six. That Sweden game now is at the end of the first period. Sweden leading West Germany 1 to nothing. Canada on a power play here. Lidster gets a shot and tackle stop that. Cortnell trying to dig it loose in the corner. Bump there by Timo Utila. Now it's cleared down the ice with 25 seconds left in the power play. Redmond back for it for Canada. Former junior with Abbotsford of the BC Junior League. Gets a pass out now to Russ Cortnell. Over the line, Gagne heading for the front of the net. Cortnell trying to trap the puck and it comes out to center ice. Lidster, seven seconds left in the power play. Lidster of Canada got it to the blue line. Donnelly goes after it there, but Finland breaks it up. Here's a chance now, Malametza moving right in front. A shot, and it hit the side of the net. Lidster brings it back for Canada with two teams at full strength. At center, steps over the line, shoots it in. Gagne dropped it there to Donnelly. Donnelly to Muller who kicked it right in front of the net. And it's brought out by number seven, Timo Utila. He loses it. Gagne slaps it back into the corner. Muller bumped by Ruotnan. Malametza now back for Finland. Malametza dumped it in front. Leitman couldn't get a good shot. He collides with the Team Canada goal and knocked that peg out of place. Bruce Driver came back very, very hard. Then it was almost a two-on-one situation. He, he had one defender there. Bruce Driver came from a long way back to pick up the extra man. He looks like a tired guy after that shift. Muller has scored the goal for Canada as the Canadian supporters look on. His third goal of the Olympics. Tuaima has scored for Finland his second goal. Robin Bartel, number two for Canada there. And he has possession of the puck. We've played 10 minutes here in the second period as Muller brings it out for Canada at center. He stopped there and Finland brings it right back in. Here's Oksanen. Oksanen trying to get it in front. A great save. They score on the rebound. And Finland off the bench as Spreko puts Finland in front. The Vancouver Canuck draft scores the go-ahead goal. Well, the goaltender has to get a little more help than that. The original shot, just like the first goal, came through and the shot and the shot was stopped and came back. The defender coming back was Skriko, the puck, and the defender and the goaltender and everything went into the net on that opportunity. But the goaltender did make the first save again for the second time. Here we see them moving over to the blue line. There's the pass going back for the first shot. Here's the first shot. The goaltender kicks it out. Skriko moving with the defender on him, takes everybody, the puck, the defender, and the goaltender into the net. Again, the drop pass, first shot, kicked out. Skriko, look, he's tied right up. The defender was close to him, but everything goes in the net, including the finished man who was on top of the net. So Skriko from Sumanen at 10-22. And for Skriko, his fifth goal of the Olympic Games. Nine and a half minutes left to play now in the second period. Here's Canada on the attack. Trying to get that puck in front for Pat Flatley. Redmond chasing it deep into his own zone now. Slapped it at the blue line. Gives it to Patrick. He clears it off the glass into the Team Finland zone. Plato after it there. He's knocked against the board. Lowe trying to take the puck loose. And they all get in there and jam it against the board. So Skriko gets the go-ahead goal for Finland at the midway point of this hockey And the first time in the tournament that Team Canada has been behind in the hockey game. They were always ahead in the game with USA, always ahead in the game with Austria for the first time. Uh, into the third game, halfway through the third game, they're behind in the hockey game. So we're all set now with the two teams at full strength. Canada's next two games are against Norway and Czechoslovakia. Here's Patrick a shot, and that's blocked by Malametza. Patrick takes it deep into his own zone to Bartel, trying to get it ahead to Cortnell, and it's slapped in by Gagne with Wood digging in there after it. Saarinen got to it first, and then it's cleared and out of play. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. 
Welcome back to Sarajevo, Yugoslavia. This is Bernie Pascal and Tom Watt. We hope you're enjoying our CTV Olympic coverage. 11.30 gone in the second period with Finland leading Canada by a score of 2-1. to one. And Finland leads the puck out of their own zone. Risto Yalo has it at the blue line. Handed it right to the Team Canada player. Skriko goes after it now as Muller had it there momentarily. Suminen for Finland. Dumps it into the middle now to Yalo. Yalo is bumped by Litzter who comes up with the puck. And it's backhanded down the ice into the Finland zone. Goaltender Kerry Taco has played a strong game. Mario Goslin has done likewise for Canada. Finland on the attack again. Litzter knocked yellow down at the blue line, and there will be a penalty to Litzter for tripping. Litzter played his collegiate hockey at Colorado College, a native of Kamloops, British Columbia. He'll head to the penalty box for the next couple of minutes. Lister was trying to stand up on the blue line. You see the Finnish player moving the puck through the neutral zone. He's standing up trying to make the play. The Finnish player just makes that little deke to the right. And Lister is forced to pull the skates out from underneath him, crossing the blue line, and he's off. 12.07, the time of the tripping penalty to Lister. So Ken Canada will again be a man short with Finland enjoying a one-goal lead. Buck slapped over to Servio. He couldn't handle it. Now it's Dave Tippett for Canada. Ran into Lado and Tippett went down. Gagne brings it in, trying to head for the front of the net. The puck loose there and back to scoop it up to Aima. He drops it back to Lado in the corner, who now will lead the rush for Finland. Gets the pass up on that right side to Aima, trying to come to the side of the net. And Goslag cleared it away. Raima now gets it back to the point. Udala trying to set up to Lado. Has Servio on one side, hit his own player with the shot. Then that drive is covered up by goaltender Mario Goslan. Well, that's what we want uh, from the goaltender on the previous uh, two goals. Of course, he was forced to make the first save. The puck came back, and uh, the goals were both scored on the second opportunity. But you see there, when the, when the puck was stopped, the puck comes through. And watch after this first shot. Winding up the finished player. Now watch him bring the puck in with a stick. Bring it right into his glove and hold the play. There is no chance for a second opportunity. One minute and 19 seconds left in the penalty to Doug Lidster. A capacity crowd on hand for this game. Very vocal crowd. Many Canadian supporters. You see numerous Canadian flags. Speaking of Canadian flags, uh, just prior to the game, we took in the medal presentation. Gaetan Boucher receiving the bronze medal for the 500 meter speed skating competition. And what a moment that was, just outside of the Scandaria Ice Hall here in Sarajevo. Light snowfall. And they uh, played the anthems of the winning country of the Soviet Union. There's a shot right on, and that's stopped by Goslan and Driver trying to get the puck out. Lina bumps him against the boards. It's to the line, but not out. Finland still on the attack on the power play here. It goes to Malametza. Driver then hooks the puck away from him. Macatello trying to get it out, but it shot down the ice with 45 seconds left in the Team Canada penalty. Finland leading 2-1. to one. Macatello has it at center, dumps it ahead to Malametza, back to Macatello, got it over to the far side, and the shot was off the target. Tip it for Canada, backhands it down the ice. And going back for it is Lettman. Lettman on defense with Saarinen, takes it up to the center ice zone. Over the line now goes Yellow. Yellow with Redmond getting a piece of him, Suminen back, and it's gloved ahead. And whistled down by the referee. Oh, good call by the referee. Actually, that puck was just tipped from one hand to another, and it would have been a pretty good opportunity on the power play inside the zone. Good call by the Soviet official. John Parra, the assistant coach, along with George Kingston, working with head coach Dave King, who was standing right in front there. Get the rest off, King. Get the rest off. Come on, help. 16 seconds left in the penalty to Doug Lidster. And Canada comes up with the puck now. This is Gagne. Good move. Here's Gagne right in. A shot. 
And that just missed by inches. Finland Jallo brings it to the Team Canada line. That's broken up. And Canada is back at full strength. Redmond slaps the puck ahead. Wood got to the line, then he lost possession. Patrick coming over after the puck breaks up that play, but it's still inside the line. Strico, backhand shot. That goes wide of the Team Canada goal. Here comes Wood now, up for Canada. Off the stick as Gagne reached out for it. And Tackle just takes it in behind his own net to Lado. Up on the right side now, a chance for Skrico over the line, into the slot, getting set for a shot. Dropped it there to Marcus Lato. He rolls it into the corner. Skrico trying to get it in front, and it's broken up by Pat Flatley of Canada. Now Lidster knocked against the boards, and they hold it. We played 14-52 of the second period. Next up for Canada, they play Norway and Czechoslovakia, while Finland will play Czechoslovakia and the United States. Czechoslovakia undefeated in this pool with three straight victories. They won their game earlier today. Rico with his fifth goal is Finland's leading scorer with eight points in the Olympic Games. He scored the go-ahead goal here in the second period. Now the puck comes out to Servio. Cleared back into the Team Canada zone. Lidster after it there. Just slaps it off the boards to Bartel. The referee slips and falls in the corner. Finland really throwing the body around in this game. There's Hellman and trying to get it out. Lidster stepped into him, then Bartel bumps. Flatley is knocked against the board. Flatley trying to come up with it. Hooked off his stick. Lidster had trouble in his own zone, and Finland has it. This is Hellman moving right in. Gets a shot, hit a stick, and went wide. Utila kept it in for Finland. Lidster has lost his stick. Here comes Low now, out for Canada. Darren Lowe on the left side, in with Wilson who's trailing. And the pass just out of reach and brought back by Tuaima. Up over the Team Canada line now, Tuaima trying to get it in front and back to pick up that puck is James Patrick of Canada. Here's Patrick, Patrick with Tippett heading for the front of the net. Patrick at the side, rolls it in front. And Donnelly trying to get to the puck but the net is knocked off that mooring again. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. Back to the live action here with Finland leading Canada by a score of 2-1. to one. And we have 3 minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the second period. Tippett waiting for his teammate to get onside, then got to the blue line. Donnelly moves after the puck, and it's brought back by Saarinen of Finland. Siren and a shot, gloved by Mario Goslan, and leaves it there for James Patrick. Patrick missed Tippett with that pass. It slides all the way down the ice. Muller gets back quickly, though, so icing is waved off. Good effort by Kirk Muller. Donnelly at the side in front. Here's Gagne, a shot, and that's blocked, and back comes Finland again. Lina gets it over the line. Malametz's weak shot. Lidster got a piece of that. Muller for Team Canada. Slapped it ahead. Here's Donnelly. Donnelly moving in with Gagne. Right in front. And Gagne was all tied up and couldn't get a shot. Here's Lipster moving in a drive. Loose puck at the side. And trying to get it was Russ Courtnell. And again, trouble with that net. Well, you know, it spoils the game when that uh, when all that action is around the net. It keeps slipping off. It just stops the momentum. But, you know, one thing that... Uh, everybody recognizes in sport. Here we see the puck being controlled inside the zone. One of the better opportunities in the last five or ten minutes the Team Canada's had. Everybody around the net. Look at that empty net there. Just tipped away at the last second by the Finnish defender. Or the puck would have been in the net from number 18, Cortinal. But, you know, there is such a thing as momentum in sport. You know, and... Uh, here, uh, Team Canada has all the good opportunities, and since the Finnish team got the second goal, now they've been carrying the play to Team Canada. And here they come again. The pass with Strico bringing it in, and Sumanen was caught inside the blue line on the offside. Reminder that tonight and every night throughout the Olympics, Lloyd Robertson and the CTV Olympic team present a late-night wrap-up of the official results, scores, 
and up to the minute Olympic news here in Sarajevo. Join us tonight following the news and local news on CTV. Stepped in by Rua Tannen, then it's knocked away from him, and here's Cortnell trying to get that lead pass. Cortnell digging after it, now Yellow has it at Finland, Finland at center ice. Wood kicks the puck, then Yellow picks it up, and it bounced away from Wood. Yellow in with Zumanen, and Skriko right in front, and Zumanen is knocked away. Lato is checked by Driver, here's Cortnell, up on the right wing side, Cortnell over the blue line, moving in. And the shot is off to Benjamin Ruotnan. And Finland brings it out again. Two minutes left to play in the second period. One on one now, Finland, Zumanen. Trying to get by Driver. And there to pick up the puck is Patrick of Canada. Patrick ahead for Wood. Lowe helps up. Here's Lowe and just out of reach for Wood who was going off on a line change. Lowe in the corner. Kick the puck along the board. Patrick moves in. Here's Patrick for Canada. Low right in front of the net. Patrick dropped it back, and that's broken up by Finland. A three-on-one break. Up over the line, Hellman and coming in right in front, and a good save by Mario Goslan as he breaks that up. Redmond for Canada as they go end to end. Here's Low over to Patrick, and Servio is there to intercept that. And it's offside, and talk about action, plenty of it in this second period. Well, Team Canada has just got to get that goal inside the zone. We see Flatley, who had the opportunity. James Patrick carried the puck in deep, carried the puck in deep, then threw it to Flatley, who lost the puck. Then three on one, we see here, coming back, the Finnish team, when Patrick was caught in deep, having put the puck to uh, Patrick, uh, put the puck to Flatley deep in the other zone and couldn't get back. And they were all around that net. Now they just have to get those opportunities and put them in the net, not allow the opposition to come back two and three on one. As we head into the final minute of play now of the second period, Finland two and Canada one. That shot just sails wide of the Team Canada netminder, Goslan. Trapped by Dave Donnelly. Donnelly gets it out to the center ice zone. Tippett trying to control the bouncing puck there, then lost it. It's brought by Tuima back into the Team Canada zone. Cleared around by Driver. Out to Kirk Muller at center. There's a shot right on off the stick of Dave Donnelly. Stopped by Kerry Taco. And it's cleared over the boards and out of play. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. Now the puck at the Team Finland line. Here's Cortnell coming over. 15 seconds left in the period. And it's offside at the Finland blue line. Canada opening the scoring in this game as Kirk Muller deflecting a shot by Driver. But Finland has struck back now to Aima, tied it up. And then Skriko. Now the puck right from the faceoff, cleared down the ice into the Team Canada zone, and that'll about do it here for the second period. Four seconds left on the clock. Patrick at center ice gets a long shot just as the horn goes to end the second period of play. Shots on goal in this period. Each team had 10, so Canada is outshot Finland 25-19. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympic. And the third period is just underway here in Sarajevo, Yugoslavia with Finland leading 2-1. to one. Here's a chance now for Tippett of Canada trying to dig the puck loose in front of the Finland net. And it's third right back into the center ice zone. Donnelly inside his own blue line to Bartel. Patrick digging the puck loose there, trying to get it to Tippett. Muller racing in after it with Sarin. Bumps with him. Now Leighton trying to come up with it. It's stolen there by Donnelly and then slapped off his stick. Here's Driver, lets it go. Loose puck in front. Muller trying to jam it in there and it just was out of reach. Finland really playing the body in this game as Sarin in there stepped into Kirk Muller at the play in behind the finish net. Really a lot of heavy hits. There we see Kirk Muller coming up and it was almost a replay of Canada's first goal. The puck came back to the point. Here we see it. A driver gets all kinds of time to wind up, and there's the tip. Uh, right in front of the net, all of the Canada defenders are just in a little too tight to the net when the puck came back out to scoop it in. 
First time a Winter Olympics have been held in a socialist nation. Great spirit among the people of this area, and we at CTV are proud to be a part of it. And we hope you're enjoying this hockey game live on the full CTV network today with Finland leading 2-1. to Here's Driver keeping the puck in, deflected in front. Wilson in behind the net, trying to dig it away from Leto. They get it all tied up now. Wilson for Team Canada. Then he bumps with Tuaima, who has scored one of the Team Finland goals in this game. They'll drop the puck again to the left of goaltender Kari Taco. The backup goaltender for Finland is Jorma Valtanen as we look at the Team Canada bench. Here's a chance. Litster a shot right on. And Taco, as he's done so often in this game, great with that glove hand. A draft pick of the Quebec Nordique. All those point shots, just a little lower now, Mr. Lidster. A little lower and on the net. Those ones that are higher, tough to deflect when they're in there and they're easier for the goaltender to put his glove on. Keep it low, get it on the net, change direction of that puck. Unofficial shots on goal. Canada has outshot Finland 25 to 19. Muller has scored the goal for Canada. Tuaima and Skriko have been the goal scorers for Finland. Skriko, Finland's leading scorer with five goals in the Olympic Games and eight points. We've played one minute and 25 seconds here in the third period. Flatley keeps it in, comes back to driver, lets it go right on. Here's Flatley a shot, and that just bounced wide. Yalo cleared it out to center ice. Driver is there to get it for Canada. Driver jamming away at the center line right in front of the penalty box timekeeper's area. Driver's talking to himself as he's going out there. He's had lots of good opportunities. That puck coming back to him at the point, and he's got a good shot from the point. Driver can really let it hum, and the, those deflections and pucks that you get off the rebounds and so on are opportunities around that finished net. Czechoslovakia today won their game over Austria, so they're in first place in Pool B. Canada and Finland tied for second. Remember just the... Two teams, the two top teams in each pool advance to the medal round. Canada's next two games are against Norway and Czechoslovakia. Makatello almost broke loose there. Back in the Team Finland zone, Finland will wrap up against Czechoslovakia and the United States. Lettman, there's Korknell coming back for Canada, lets it go, and that's blocked by Sarn. After it for Canada was Wood. And it slides in behind the net now to Perdi Letna. He gets it up on the right side, up to the blue line. Lina got a shot off the glove of Mario Goslan. Donnelly has it for Canada. Gets a pass on that right side now. On the attack, Tippett trailing on the play. There's a backhander right in front. Good move by Patrick, and it's covered up by the defense, Marcus Lato. Rather Utila, number seven. They played two minutes and 51 seconds in the third period. The two teams are at full strength. Tippett, Donnelly, and Muller. Lidster and Bartel. The five players out there for Canada. Here's a break now for Finland. Up over the line, a shot. And that's up into the crowd high above the net and comes back into play. Coach and general manager of Team Canada, Dave King. His assistant coaches, George Kingston and Jean Perron. And what a job they've done in developing this young Canadian Olympic team. Canada opening with a 4-2 win over the United States. And they beat Austria 8-1. Facing a feisty team from Finland. Really using their body in this game. Coach was telling us soon and then yesterday at practice that he really enjoys the Canadian style. He has his players just doing that. Here's Muller dumping it in front. Canada with a chance. Now loose puck and it's cleared away and down the ice. Martel goes back for it for Team Canada. In for checking is Helmanen. At the blue line, it's stolen. Here's a chance. Zumanen right in front. And Lidster blocked that. Finland still has possession. Helmanen into the corner after it. Trying to get it back to Rotman. Sends it over to the opposite side. 
Plato had trouble with it, and Canada races out. Here's Donnelly coming in with Lowe. He scores! Lowe ties it up for Canada. Where did he get that backhand? That backhand came out of nowhere. The puck was put across on the two-on-one break, and the backhand just went high right underneath the post on the glove side, and all of Team Canada is off the bench. There you see it coming across, brings the puck to his backhand, high right underneath the top corner there, beating the glove stretch hand of, of uh, tackle, and Muller goes right to the net and takes it off the post. Muller makes the play on the two-on-one, then the backhand drive just going over. There you see it tucking in. The net, Canada ties the score at 2-2. Great goal by Darren Lowe, Muller assisting at 3.56. A first team all-star in the Ontario University Athletic Association with the University of Toronto, a big goal for Darren Lowe. And it's a 2-2 tie. We've played four minutes in the third period. Canada has it again, Wilson right in front. And the puck is cleared down the ice with Driver racing back for it. It'll be icing against Finland. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. And welcome back now to Sarajevo, Yugoslavia. The puck was dropped. Wilson went in, but it was an offside play. Kerry Wilson taking the pass from Flatley. There you see him just taking it over the line, just a stride across the line, but the linesman was way behind the play. You don't see him on the blue line ready to make that pass, but he blew it down on the offside pass. Wilson going in all by himself. Canada's last medal at the Olympic Games was a bronze medal in 1968. Many of the players from that team are here. Marshall Johnston, director of player personnel for the New York Islanders. Herb Pinder is here. The New Jersey Devils, of course, Marshall Johnson. Here's Bartell trying to get the puck out of his own zone. Now gives it to Gagne. Gagne up the middle. Here's a chance now for Wood. Dropping it in front and deflected off the stick of Russ Cortnell just wide. Leto trying to get it to Helmanen. Taken by Tuaima. Now Helmanen shoots it in. Off the target, Servio after it for Finland, but Gagne has it now, shoots it off the boards and down the ice. I think that could have been played, but they're going to call icing as Udala gets back and touches it. The game very interesting from the sways and momentum for each team. Canada starting off well, having a good first period. Then Finland comes back with two goals. Then they start taking the play to Team Canada. Team Canada's come out in the third period, four checking well, controlling the play inside the zone. Rewarded with a goal. Now they've taken over the momentum in the hockey game. You know, we're talking, mentioning Marshall Johnson of the New Jersey Devils. He was telling us he's here to scout Bruce Driver, who's one of his draft picks. And Driver's played well here at the Olympic Games, and we have a holding infraction coming up. And coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. And back to the action. Here's Finland, a man short. They clear the puck to the line. Skriko then lost it. Zooming it in the penalty box for holding at 5.23. A 2-2 tie. Canada on the power play. Setting up now. Flatley clears the pass. Takes it in along the boards. Flatley in behind the net. Chased there by Ruotman. Now it's cleared back to the blue line. Here's Lidster. He sends it over. A shot. And that's deflected just wide as Driver let it go. Plato trying to get it out. He's hauled down. And there will be a hooking penalty to Team Canada. And Flatley is very upset. But Canada nullifying their power play opportunity. 113 left in the penalty to Sumanen. Now Flatley goes in there for Canada. Lidster just moving the puck right across on the power play. The puck coming from the point, just tipped wide of the net. Here's the rebound coming, trying to get their stick on it as it comes off the backboards, just unable to do it. And then, of course, Flatley comes back, hooks the man inside the zone, and he's penalized. Well, we played six minutes and ten seconds here in the third period. Bartel puts on the brakes inside the line, trying to get it back to Donnelly. It's knocked ahead. Here's Malametza going after the puck. Cleared it in front. And Mario Goslak came out of the net and gave it to the teammate. 
as it's brought out by Tippett. Over the Finland line, Tippett spins around. Now he's setting up, cleared it in front, it just rolled off the stick, and Malametza sends it over to Leitman. Leitman, a long shot, and that's blocked by Mario Goslan and dropped it to the side. A 2-2 tie. Each team a man short here. Finland setting up. Number five, Saarinen, a long drive and a stick save by Goslan. Lidster, number four, has it in the corner for Canada. Trying to get it ahead to Gagne. It rolled off a stick and it's brought back in. Lima is knocked off stride. But comes out to the center ice area. Gagne sends it over to Lidster. Here's Lidster getting set. Makes it deep into the corner. Rolls it right in front. Gagne got a piece of it, but not a great shot. It was stopped easily by Tackle. As Finland is back at full strength. Canada, a man short. That drive goes off the stick of Lidster and high and hits the clock. Played seven minutes and 33 seconds here in the third period. Flatley in the penalty box for Canada has 37 seconds remaining in his minor. That's Gagne, number 19, from Chatham, Ontario. Out there to kill off this remaining seconds in the penalty to Flatley. Canada scored the first goal of the game. A shot by Driver deflected by Muller. Tuaima and Skriko then scored for Finland and low. His first goal of the Olympics has tied it up. Portion of the Canadian supporters on hand here. Many of the competitors from other sports here in this building supporting the Canadian Olympic hockey team. Finland though on the power play. Canada trying to kill it off. After the puck goes Dan Wood, he can't get it out. Lidster then backhands it. Driver in behind the net trying to get it and Dave Tippett has it. Tippett having a little trouble, cleared it to the line. Lato kept it in for Finland. Now they're setting up. Number 25, that's Sumanen, gets it back. Sumanen the return pass. Now he sends it over. Lato, there's a shot. That's blocked. Another drive, and that's again stopped by the defense. Here's it in front to Sumanen. Let's it go, and Gosland put his arm in front of that drive. And Canada is back at full strength. Tippett trying to get the puck in front. Flatley digs it loose. And here comes Flatley. Up over the line with Wood, and then he was stopped, but the puck rolls into the corner. Lato, as both teams are back at full strength in this 2-2 tie. Slap back into the Team Finland zone. Lato and Kerry Wilson in there. Lowe comes up with it. Here's Lowe dropping it into the corner, then heads to the front of the net. Wilson has it for Canada. Gets it back to the line to Patrick. Back into the corner goes Kerry Wilson. Wilson slaps it there. Off the stick of Flatley, then he backhands it to Lowe. Lowe with Flatley heading from the front of the net. Wilson, here's Redman getting set. A shot to score! Redman, and Canada's off the net. It's 3-2 for Canada. They control it for a long period of time, and finally, when all the Finnish defenders had sagged, they looked back at the point. Redmond, there was nobody with him. They slipped it back to the point, and all the traffic in front of the net. Let's see when that shot comes through. There's one, two men right in front of the net, and the third coming to the net. The goaltender doesn't have much opportunity to see it, as Kerry Wilson went right through the crease when the shot came from the point, and Canada goes ahead. There's Flatley in front. Now you see Wilson going in front of the net. The puck comes through at the right time. Wilson screening the goaltender and the puck going behind him. So Craig Redmond taking that shot gets credit for the goal. 18-year-old defenseman from Langley, British Columbia. Played collegiately at the University of Denver. Gets the biggest goal of his young career with Canada now leading Finland 3-2. Bartel in the corner. He's checked. Portnell trying to take the puck loose 
And Servio gets in there, bumps with Bartel, and they hold it along the boards. What a lift that'll give Team Canada. They scored the game's first goal and gave up two. Had to come from behind, tied it on the goal by Lowe. And now Redmond getting the go-ahead marker. We've played 9-15 in the third period. Moving up for Finland, Lato. And he lost it, but they keep it inside the line. Drop it back. That shot bounced off the lane. Slapped off the glass. Redmond from Wilson and Flatley at 9.03, that last scoring play. Martel trying to dig it loose. Helped up by Cortnell and James Patrick. Patrick now got it ahead. This is Von Carpet, number 31, hooked to the ice. There'll be a penalty. A hooking infraction. Toledo. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will. So Canada on the power play. Lato for hooking at 9.46 of this third period. Canada leading Finland 3-2. Lidster in his own zone. Gets it ahead to Wilson who slaps it off the board. Going deep is Redmond who's knocked against the board. Flatley helping out for Team Canada. He sends it around to the other side to carry Wilson. Wilson number 20. He drops it into the corner to Flatley. On the power play, Wilson has Lidster on the point, moving in front, back to Lidster. His shot hit a skate and goes into the corner. Redmond gives it to Flatley. Flatley to Wilson. Canada moving it with authority on this power play. Back to Wilson now. Here's Wilson. Flatley behind the net, takes the pass off the skate. Trying to jam it in front. Driver moves in. He backhands it into the corner. Redmond. Squeezed against the boards, trying to kick the puck loose. They all get in there. And we have 58 seconds remaining in the penalty to Leto of Finland. Team Canada controlling that puck very, very well, but we've got to get more shots directed at the net. What a big power play opportunity here. Ten minutes remaining, or halfway through the third period. You're up a goal, you get a power play opportunity. Here's where you've got to connect on the power play. This would be a very important goal if they go ahead 4-2 on the power play at this point in the hockey game. Finland has outshot Canada 5-4 so far in this third period. That last scoring play, Redmond, his second goal of the Olympic Games. And it's 3-2 for Canada. Finland a man short. Buck is slapped down the ice and Mario Goslan leaves it there for James Patrick, number nine. Snowy Saturday in Sarajevo. Several inches of snow. Real Olympic flavor here now. There's a bouncing puck in front. Goes off the stick of Darren Lowe. Canada's Kirk Muller. Trying to come in front. Dropped it back to Lowe. Lowe in behind the net. Lots of room. Comes right in front. Slapping away at it. And the puck is knocked loose. Out to Skrico. Skrico gets to center ice. Then he stopped as Kirk Muller gives it to James Patrick. 15 seconds left in the power. Muller over the line. Here's a chance for Donnelly. Donnelly spins around. Muller heading for the front of the net. Lidstrom moves in deep. It comes back. A shot by Driver off the glass. And it's whistled down by the linesman Tatichek. There's some question why there was a whistle. It hit the glass. I believe Tadacek thought the puck went out of play and that was where the deflection came from and now he's taking the puck out. Terrington has taken the puck out to center ice and, and putting it there because it was a, a misplayed or, or a, a, a whistle which wasn't a legal whistle. That's the rule you use when it's a, a, an icing call that's been a mistake but the puck was not deflected out of play. Tadacek blew it dead uh, inside the blue line. Well, the referee, Karen Dean of the United States, has the face-off right, or the Soviet Union has the face-off right at the center right zone. Now it comes back to Bartel. Bartel inside his own line. Two teams at full strength as we approach the 12-minute mark here of the third period. Russ Cortnell into the corner after the fight. Hooked away from him. Now he tries to get it back and does. Cortnell over the line, setting up. Almost collided with his own teammate there, Wood. Wood's stick is held. He goes after the puck. 
Sends it back behind the net to Cortnall. Gagne's moving in front of the net. It comes back. Martel sweeps up. Another drive off the pad of goaltender Taco. As Dave Gagne and the Canadian Olympic team almost increasing their one goal lead. Gagne coming off now, and uh, Dave King is making frequent changes now with eight minutes in the hockey game left now. You're up a goal. You want to make sure you don't get caught out in that ice with a group that's tired. They're making quick changes. Backhanded by Patrick. It's knocked down. Kept in, though, by Lowe of Canada. Lato goes after it for Finland, and now they rush out to center ice. Here's Helmanen up over the line, spins around, trying to get the puck to Udala. He slips and falls, and here comes Redmond back for Canada. Redmond moving in, a shot, and that's blocked by Taco. As Redmond moved in with a two-on-one opportunity, decided to shoot, and it was stopped by goaltender Taco. Leto, the Finnish defender, played that classically. However, in the two-on-one, he stayed right in the middle. He didn't allow, look at him, in the middle. In the middle, in between the two of them. Played it, just forced Redmond, he can't get it across. Goaltender comes out, takes away the shot. A classic way to defend against a two-on-one break. O'Donnelly on the left side, Tippett. Takes the face off, the puck is cleared ahead. Here's a chance now for Helmanen, but it's hooked away from him by Driver. Good defensive play by Driver. Muller backhands the puck into the Team Finland zone. Driver keeps it in. Here's Donnelly now. Rotman is right on top of him, and he tried to jam it on the short side there, and Kerry Taco smothers it. Six minutes and 57 seconds left to play in the third period. Canada's next game against Norway and Czechoslovakia. Finland has two games left as well. They play Czechoslovakia and the United States. The United States today tying Norway 3-3. There's Tippett going after the puck again. Cleared to the blue line and brought out by Ansi Malametza. And Litzter slapped it off his stick. Malametza is caught inside the Team Canada blue line. Mario Goslin has given Team Canada some outstanding goaltending here at the Olympic Games. In terms of face-offs after 40 minutes, Canada won 17 and lost 20. In this period, Canada has won 12 and lost just four. Very successful in taking the draw. Here's Litzter, a shot. That's blocked by defenseman Leto. Puck comes to Lina, trying to get it to center and does, but Canada comes up with it. Tippett races into the corner. He's in there with Saarinen. Saarinen got to it, and it's icing against... Team Canada. Coverage of the 14th Winter Olympics will continue in a moment. Now back to the live action. Here's Gagne coming in for Canada's shot. And that's blocked by defenseman Saarinen. Canada three and Finland two as Hellman and got it to center. Bartel stopped him. Gagne sends it over to Russ Cortnall. Here's Cortnall setting up. Gets a shot. Right in front. They score. Canada. Gagne. Oh boy, oh boy, Canada can taste the metal round now. The quick stick, look at the quick stick coming across here from Cortnall. The shot is right on, the puck comes back. Gagne taking the puck across him on his forehand right in front of the goaltender. But the quick stick and the quick hands of Cortnall just making that quick little move to the outside, putting it quick on the net. Gagne coming across in front of the net is able to scoop it in. Here you see Cortnall. Look, whoop, quick, across. Gagne in front. He's got the hole open net as he comes across in front of the Finnish goaltender tackle. So Gagne, a native of Chatham, Ontario. Scores Canada's fourth goal from Russ Cortnall, who's from Duncan, British Columbia. You'll notice the spelling of the players on the supers on the screen. That is supplied by Yugoslavian television. Thus, you'll see some variations in the, uh, the spelling of the Canadian players. 
But I think the players will overlook that. Four to two, that's the important statistic. That's what they like to see on the screen. It sure is. Team Canada can smell that metal round now. One of the assistant coaches for Finland is Reino Ratsalainen. And his son, of course, plays for the New York Rangers. We've played 14 minutes and 15 seconds here in the third period. It's Canada four. And Finland two as Skriko heads for the side of the net. Lipster takes him out of the play. The young Team Canada defense has played extremely well in this tournament. Here's Sumanen trying to get the puck. Sumanen in behind the net. There's a slashing penalty coming up. And a bit of a mix up there as Sumanen was upset as he was taken out of the play. The Edmonton Oiler draft pick heads to the penalty box. One of his rare appearances in the Olympic Games. Well, those are the penalties that make coaches gray. You're down two goals in the hockey game. The puck is 190 feet away from your own net. Watch this. Look how far it is. It's a four check. I mean, nobody's going anywhere outside of the zone here for Canada. He turns around and just slashes the Team Canada player because he feels that he was hooked. Now with Canada ahead, two goals, six minutes to go in the hockey game. Bad, bad time to take a penalty like that. So Suman in the box, his second minor penalty. 14.35, the time of that penalty. Four slashing with Canada leading 4-2, and here's Russ Cortnell ahead to Donnelly, and that just failed to click. Saranen, Cortnell behind the net is bumped. Still digging after the puck, though, helped up by Gagne, right in front. And the shot there by number 23, Donnelly was stopped. Patrick, he sends it into the far corner. Driver goes after it there for Canada. Driver kicked it to the blue line, then outside the line, and it's called on the offside. Of course, more Olympic action is coming your way tomorrow morning on CTV. Only a few hundreds of a second separate the top men losers here at the Olympics. Peter Young and Marilyn Vestergaard are covering the lose for CTV. They'll have the final run for you on CTV's Olympic coverage tomorrow morning. All the Olympic activity on the full CTV network. Playing in the third period at the Zetra Arena tonight, Sweden leads Germany. It's Sweden 1, Germany nothing early in the third period. Another offside at the Team Finland blue line. Finland defeated Austria 4-3 and Norway 16-2. Dave King. There's Dave Tippett. Four minutes and 48 seconds left to play in the hockey game. Canada coming back from a 2-1 deficit. Lead it by two goals as Muller goes after the puck. Finland the man short. They bring the puck to the team. Canada line and over. Moving in front. Dropping it back. And it's cleared out to the center ice zone. One minute remaining in the penalty to Sumanen. Pass comes to over Ruatanen. He's stopped. Gary Wilson for Canada inside the blue line. Here's Wilson setting up. Moves right in front. Wilson a shot. And it goes high over the top of the net. Good move by Kerry Wilson. As Finland comes right back. Alametsa heading for the front of the net. It's broken up. And it's brought out again by Wilson of Canada. Wilson fakes a shot. Now he lets it go. And Tackle makes the save and drops it to the side. 25 seconds left in the power play. Finland. Sarana over the line, a drive, and that's off the arm of Goslin. Tip it. Alametsa after him, and it's backhanded down the ice. Not far enough for icing as the finished player, Leitman, got to it. Bartal at center. Six seconds left in the penalty. It's cleared up over the boards, and it almost hit Servio sitting at the Finland bench. Exciting hockey action here at the Olympic Games. Bartel, number two from the University of Saskatchewan. Watch this. One. Here's the second one. Two. In front. Comes to his forehand. Zingo over top of the net. He'd already beaten someone at the boards before coming to the net. He almost beat the whole finish team and then put the puck over the net. Good moves by Kerry Wilson. 
Finland in the last Olympics in 1980 finished fourth. Tying their best performance ever in the Olympics, they finished fourth also in 76. Now the two teams at full strength, Lidster of Canada, it's cleared to the line, then slapped out to center ice where Leitman has it. Leitman gets it ahead, fires it off the boards. Lidster chasing back for it for Canada. Lidster blocked by Malametza, he lost it. And it's backhanded wide of the Team Canada goal. Three minutes left to play in the third period. Canada four and Finland two with Tippett digging after the puck. He's dropped his stick. Make sure the puck stays there and gets a whistle. That's why Dave Tippett's the captain of this hockey team. Here you see him coming, lost his stick, continued in, held that puck against the boards, did everything he could so there was no opportunity. Here you see a little mistake behind the net by Lidster, rolling in front of the net just wide. Don't give the opposition any reason to play here late in the hockey game. Don't let them back in the game where they could get their goaltender out and maybe get back in. We don't want to give them a sniff here in the last few minutes of the hockey game. Talking about losing a stick, Tom, we're watching uh, Finland practice yesterday and uh, we were all surprised they're out on the ice for 20 minutes without sticks. We thought it was a new twist, but what had happened, they left their sticks at the other rink and had to practice 20 minutes or so without sticks. Eventually got them. They're trailing this game 4-2 with two and a half minutes left to play. Canada has been the talk of the Olympic Games as Cortnell moves in and just brushed aside by Leighton before he could get a shot. Finland down by two. This is Strico up over the line, slipped, knocked off stride, and there will be a penalty for tripping as Strico lost his balance and then was upset. Strico, who has scored one of Finland's goals, is hauled down by Russ Cortnell. A tripping penalty at the 18, uh, while well, we have uh, eight, two minutes and 10 seconds left. There we see all four of Team Canada's defenders at the blue line. When Cortnell does make the trip, they're coming back. They're back checking well. Everybody's back. They don't want to get too many men caught deep in the opposition's end. But moving over the blue line, Cortnell was guilty of tripping the finished player. 17.50, the time of Cortnell's penalty. And we'll keep an eye on the finish goaltender Kerry Taco and see if he heads to the bench down by two and they're on the power play still plenty of time remaining in this game though with this power play situation Tippett is chased out Malametza for Finland got the puck back it's kept in by Leitonen now Malametza and it's taken there by Tippett. What a valuable member he is of this Canadian Olympic team. Now it's slapped down the ice. Tippett racing back for it. Saarinen gets to it. Canadian player Donnelly trying to get a piece of it. It's loose at center. Malametza forced back by Tippett. Gets it over to Leighton. A shot off the stick of Doug Lidster. Saarinen for Finland. Drops it into the corner. Zumanen gets it back now. Here's Saarinen getting set for a shot. He cleared it to the corner and Canada breaks that up. And Finland forced deep into their own zone. Saarinen. 1.15 left in Cortnell's minor penalty. Malametza missed that pass. His driver goes back. He can't control it. And it's cleared up over the glass off the stick of Robin Bartel. Good penalty killing by Team Canada. Excellent penalty killing by Team Canada. They're really going after them. You notice they haven't played their box uh, very stable tonight. They've been chasing out of it, forcing the Finnish players to make their moves faster than they might like, throwing a little caution to the wind, and it's worked tonight. They put a lot of pressure on the Finnish team's power play, not letting them set up. No shot so far in this power play for Finland, and they have to be a frustrated team after leading 2-1 to one at one point. You can see that by the expression at the bench on their faces. Now Finland setting up, gets it back. Here's Utila, and it's knocked down by Dan Wood, and he felt that, and he heads to the bench. Finland gets it again, heading for the front of the net is Strico. Now he slips and falls, and Canada gets possession and slaps it down the ice. 41 seconds left, less than a minute remaining in the third period and the game. 
Finland shoots it down. It'll be icing against Finland. As Driver touches the puck, 30 seconds left in Courtney's penalty. Well, it should fall into place uh, after this hockey game unless there's some very, very unexpected circumstances take place. But with this win over Finland, even if they tie in the final standings, they'll get the placing because of their win over the team they're tied with. Looks good. There's a chance the puck cleared down the ice. We have five seconds left. You can hear them counting it down. And there it is. Canada has defeated Finland. They outshot Finland 32 to 24. An entertaining and exciting game here at Scandaria. And the measure of a good hockey team, too. For every period in the first two games and for the first period of this game, they were ahead in the hockey game. Then they slipped behind. The only period they've lost in this tournament was the second period of this game. And they showed that they could come from behind, down a goal going into the third period. They come back with three straight goals and win 4-2. That's sweet. Well, they're off the bench to congratulate. Mario Gosland, the goal chanter, and there's Darren Elliott, the other netminder, number one, Bartel, and the players shaking hands, and that gets an appreciative round of applause from the spectators here in Sarajevo. So Canada defeating Finland by a score of 4-2. to two. A highly entertaining game, and we'll be back with more of our Olympic coverage with Lloyd Robertson and Ron Roosh in our Mission Studios. Coverage of the Winter Olympics continues in a moment. And Czechoslovakia are 3-0. and We've yet to play Czechoslovakia. We've got Norway yet to come as well. Norway with that tie as shown there in that tie column against the